Good morning, my friends. It's Sean Vig with SeanVigFitness.com, and this is your very gentle and very beginner morning yoga stretch. This is great for everybody. Very smooth, and we're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. You can do this in bed right after you wake up or any other spot. We have a beautiful location here with Elephant Butte in the background. And also make sure you're checked in below in the comment section. Let's begin on our backs and draw the knees into the chest. Let the head relax down. You can also place your pillow or a towel underneath your head. As we breathe in the nose and out the nose, with each exhale, draw the knees in closer to the chest and breathe into your lower back. Think of filling the lower back with the breath. Toes and fingers are loose as we set a beautiful tone for the day. Let's rock the legs side to side, massaging the lower back against the mat. Little can release the toes if you like. Before your feet even hit the floor in the morning, you wanna get in a great routine here to energize and focus and release. Breathing into the lower back, think of it as a compartment that you're filling with water. And if you haven't guessed by now, I'm using my morning yoga voice. Okay, hands on the knees, let's circle them. Pick a direction, nice little circles. Feel the back smushing into the mat, getting some blood flow into your lower back and middle back, the thoracic section. Shoulders are down, keeping the chest open and expanded. She gets some movement and mobility in the knees and the back. And other direction. Inhale around, exhale on the top. Keep pumping lots of fresh, fresh and pure oxygen into your muscles. Let your mind be relaxed. Let your focus be sharp only on what you're doing right now. And let's alternate moving the legs here, warming up the hamstrings, backs of the legs. Keep your toes loose. You'd be amazed at how much tension we can hold in our hands and feet during the day. And remember, before your feet even hit the floor, you want to make a huge difference here in your total conditioning. Let's bring the right knee into the chest. Clasp the fingers, a little smile to the camera. Extend the left leg out so you have some nice separation of the legs. And roll the head back and forth. Relax your jaw. That means no clenching of the teeth. Keep the teeth soft as if you've been novocained. Another area of tension is the face, the jaw, the cheeks, the forehead. Be very aware of what you're holding there. Be aware of pulling your cap brim down as you keep drawing the right knee towards the chest, into the chest. And now let's move that right leg side to side, getting some mobility in the hip, a little stretch in the knee and the lower back, and sending some deep breaths into that movement, breathing in the nose and out the nose, and extending the left leg away. Look at that blue sky. Makes me want to sing. Now draw that leg a little further each time. Now we're going to draw it across a little bit more, stretching the outside of the leg, and then out to the side. Keep your cheeks down. I don't mean the cheeks on your face. And the leg is out to the side. If you like, you can extend and soften, or just hold the leg out with the knee bent. Keep the left cheek down, the left gluteal muscle. As we open up the hip, get some daylight into the psoas, the groin, the inner thighs. And this little bit of movement, little dynamic stretching here. I'm gonna open up the hamstrings, and attaching into the glutes. Shoulders are down, chest is open. Now bring that right leg up and over, across now into a lying spinal twist. Take your time, move into it slowly. It's very gentle. 
I have a habit sometimes, or I should say a lot of the time, pushing too far in right away into an exercise or a stretch. Take your time, move in, and your body will adapt, and you will actually go further, have longer lasting benefits. Leg as far down as you can, slowly turn the upper body to the right, away from that leg, sinking the right shoulder down, and the magic word again is expand. Expand your chest and feel the spine lengthening and rotating. Check your surroundings. <laughs> Deep breathing. Okay, bring that leg back. Hug the knees into the chest once again. Snuggle in for a few breaths, wiggle the toes. Rocking back and forth. Massaging more of your back into the mat. Getting a little bit of a some friction there to encourage blood flow in the back. And other side. Left knee drawing straight into the chest. Rolling the head side to side. Extending the right leg out. Breathe into that pose. Of all the workouts I've done, every video I've filmed, every class I've ever taught, or every workout I've ever done, the biggest challenge for me is slowing it down just like this. It's amazing from person to person what the challenge is. So this feels really good, but it's very difficult for me to do this. Let's take that leg side to side. But I know it's the right thing to do. It keeps my body Moving, it keeps it flexible, keeps it mobile. As we move that leg slowly back and forth, extend the right leg further away from you. And little bite-sized movements until you're ready for the larger movements. Take it slow. Okay, and also mess with your pants. Okay, take the left leg out to the side. And the same as the other side, of course, in the name of balance, you can hold it with the knee bent or extend and soften the knee. Inhale, extend, exhale, soften. Breathing into the deep abdominals. So you're aiming the breath into your abdominals, the diaphragm, of course, which pumps the breath in and out. That's right below your rib cage. Breathing into your sides and breathing into your lower back for deep, satisfying breaths. Filling and emptying the lungs. All right, bring that leg up and over. Now we slowly go back and forth, preparing, prepping, as it were, for the lying spinal twist. Make sure your entire body is on board with this. So you have the lower body doing a rotation. The upper body is actually stabilized and twisting in the opposite direction. Exhale over and find that twist breathe into it the left shoulder is sinking down you see me rubbing my hand on the sides I like that it's very comforting to me you rub the muscles in the chest or the sides when I teach live classes I touch clients in certain spots like shoulders or upper back to trigger those areas and here is an impromptu stretch feel free to do those also your body will not lie to you it will tell you what kind of stretches it needs bring those knees back into the chest once again head up or down and tucking in the shirt well, what are you doing there Sean all right full body stretch <laughs> reaching all directions little hip isolations here Shoulders back and down before the feet hit the floor. We're going to put that on a t-shirt. I know Joyce Meyer says that a lot too. Before your feet even hit the floor. Rolling onto your side for just a moment. Pressing up, my friend. And if we're doing this routine together, we are cyber friends. Shake it out. Come to a seated cross-legged position or legs extended in front if this feels a little uncomfortable shoulder rolls inhale lift exhale drop the shoulders back get a good nice shot of that coach vig 
or some would say Coach Vig. Inhale up, exhale back. One at a time, a little rotation here, keeping the sides and lower back loose with the rotations. Let your eyes follow the arm as it goes back. Inhale, lift, exhale back. Good, embrace that. All right, now we twist. Twist to the side, either side. Drop the shoulders, keep the chest open, and with each exhale, rotate further. And with each inhale, lift the body. So lifting out of the crown of the head. Mm, that's a good doggy going by back there. Oh, it's a good doggy. Okay, back to the center. Center. Shoulders back and down. Keep a nice bend. A little curve in the lower back. All right. Hands out for some reason, a little patty cake. Now we twist to the other side, lifting as you twist. Good posture and good alignment in all positions. I said good doggy because I actually said that while I was filming this video. I wanted to make it as authentic as possible. Good. Shoulders sinking down away from the ears. Bring it back to the center. Shoulder roll again. Head up and back. And roll that head back and forth. Even as you're doing this, keep your upper body nice and tall. There's a little bit of a dip in the front. But you always regain when you come to the side. Exhale across. Inhale on the shoulder. Relaxing the jaw. Okay, switch the legs, arms out to the sides, inhale, lift the arms up over the head, side bends, place the hand down and lengthen up and over, keeping the glutes glued to the mat. Inhale, center, lifting tall, and exhale, other side. Set the tone for the day, have one of your greatest hits, one of your best days ever. As you start with all this deep breathing, this lengthening, the stretching, and side bend again. And of course, focus. Building and working that focus. Like a muscle, work the focus as if you would work your shoulders or your legs. Lifting tall and again to the side. Up and over. Flexing that spine. Inhale, arms up over the head. Cactus arms. Bend the elbows. Draw the arms and shoulders back. Place the hands on the ground in front. Slide forward so we have a hinge to couple with the back bend. Rise back up. Arms up. Cactus arms. Cannonball coming. Open that chest. And slide forward. Bathing your spine in all this goodness. A nice, gooey, limber, supple spine. Inhale, rising up slowly and majestically. Cactus arms once again. Opening. Feel that breath flowing effortlessly in and out. Slide forward. You have a very acute control of these movements. Inhale, arms up. Palms together, bring the hands down, front of the chest, and then drop down slightly. Inhale, lift, back bend. Exhale again, drawing the hands down, slowly squeezing the breath from the lungs. A little side to side movement. Inhale, up, back bend. Bring it down with the exhale. And let's take a couple deep breaths right here, shoulders back and down, lifting through the crown of the head. An excellent class, excellent. Check in below and have yourself an amazing day. <laughs> hey, it's Sean again. If you like this video, I have a free gift for you. It's one of my most popular members only videos from my vault. All you have to do is click the first link in the description below or in the pinned comments and that will take you to a page where you enter your email address and I will send you that free video right away. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel by pressing the subscribe button, smashing the like button, 
and check in below with any feedback, questions, or if you have any specific workout requests for me, put those in the comment section below. That is the best place to reach me.